Hi, thanks for coming. I'm Xin Wang from Tsinghua University. My co-authors are Lei Cao, Hui Jun Zhang, Ding Feng, Yang Perfect. Ding, and Thank you. Ning Yun Li. I will talk about our paper, a mental learning-based stress category detection framework on social media. People today are experiencing various kinds of stress, such as stress from work, financial state, and school. Too much long-standing stress without alleviation could cause serious psychological and mental problems. Thus, being aware of the stress as well as stressors that cause the stress is quite important to help people take effective actions to cope with the stress. Traditional stress category detection explored the use of psychological questionnaires. However, people do not tend to do psychological questionnaires unless they have to. This inspires us to leverage social media to do stress category detection. The related works all strive to detect stressor event that caused the stress using stressor dictionary built upon words from the stressor related categories in the LIWC. We argue that these lexicon-based stress category detection approaches cannot satisfy the current social media environment. Since the Martin language is being popular on social platforms, an increasing number of words usage and sentence patterns are varying dramatically. If a dictionary cannot be continuously revamped, the lexicon-based approaches could hardly deliver a satisfactory performance. Another limitation of the existing stressor stress category detection approaches is that they focus on stress categories that appear frequently on social media. However, the types of stress that are rarely seen on social media are even more serious, such as the stress that some vulnerable groups experience. For example, the stress of women due to pregnancy, as they tend to suffer from lots of stress in pregnancy such as previous negative experience with pregnancy, having an unplanned pregnancy, dealing with the psychological changes, and so on. This inspires us to call on the society to give more care, understanding, and support to the vulnerable groups who suffer from these rare, they appear the stress category. More specific, we want to study whether we can build a framework that can recognize a new stress category with little data through learning of frequently appeared categories without relying on any lexicon. There are two challenges for this study. The first is challenge about data. There is no public data sites contains real stress categories based on social media. The second is challenge about method. The traditional supervised methods requires a large account of data for supervised training for each category. So it is not suitable for some categories with little data. In this paper, we define a few short stress categories, classification problem that needs a model Treats unfrequently appeared stress categories and can be directly adapted to rarely appeared stress categories with a few samples. To address the challenge of all methods, we employ mental learning mechanism. The mental learning mechanism allows the model to learn the generic parts of different mental tasks such as how to extract important features and compare sample similarities, and forget the task-specific parts in the mental task. Therefore, the model can still work effectively when facing an unseen mental task. Now we introduce our mental learning framework, which contains three modulars, namely encoder modular, induction modular, and relation modular. 
as shown in Figure 1. The encoder modular aims to obtain a challenge relevant representation of each tweet. The induction modular aims to interpret and summarize a reference representation for each category. The relation modular aims to determine which category the query belongs to. Next, we will go into more details of the three modulars. The aim of encoder modular is to obtain the representation of each tweet. We employ BERT and ResNet to get the basic text and image representation of each tweet. The existing lexicon-based stress category detection methods focus on the meaning of the words in the dictionary rather than the semantics of the entire tweet, which made it hard to classify correctly when one tweet contains words from different stress categories. The syntactic structure is effective to understand the semantic of the entire tweet. Thus, we construct the syntactic dependence graphs to better obtain textual representations. A dependence graph example is illustrated for the tweet, my stress comes from financial certification exam in the feature. There are two stress category related words, exam and the financial in the tweet. Through the dependence graph, it will be easier to understand and the stress is from exam. Thus, we construct the dependence graph for each tweet and leverage dependence graph convolutional neural network to learn, to learn the dependence information. The existing fusion methods encoder with only more, one modality as input are not suitable for different modalities featured on social media. Thus, we propose a tweet attention mechanism to better integrate the representation of different modalities, which makes our model learn to find and focus on those stress category related information. The aim of induction modular is to generate category representations from key samples representations of score set. When k is not equal to one, it means that the support set contains more than one sample. At this time, the query representation and the category representation have the problem of inconsistent dimensions. So aggregation operation is needed for support set. The common way to carry out this is to average or sum over the vector of all samples from each category's support set. However, these approaches may keep the noisy in the samples for the final category representation. We argue that not all samples are equal when getting the category representation. Thus, we design a mixture of experts mechanism to generate category representation. The aim of relation modular is to measure the correlation between query tweet and categories. Specifically, Kaizen similarity is adopted to calculate the relation score. The relation score close to one means extremely similar. To overcome the challenge of both data side, we build a Chinese social media stress category detection data side. Weibo has become one of the most popular social media all over the world, with 225 million daily active users. People can express their emotions, share their opinions, and record their life on Weibo. Therefore, Weibo was crowded to build our data site. Based on psychological professional theory, SRS for stress category, we selected six categories that appear frequently on Weibo and six categories that appear rarely on Weibo. As shown in this table, 
A set of keywords for each selected category was defined based on the psychological classical theory, daily hassle stress event. We employed four doctor students who major in computational psychology and active on social media as annotators to guarantee annotations quality only if more than two annotators believe that one tweet has a major stress and the major category they labeled are consistent the tweet is annotated as this category finally we got 1553 tweets and 720 images in total the average tweet number of frequently appeared category is 231 well, for really appeared category is 28. To evaluate the effectiveness of our framework, we compare our results with both stress category detection baselines and few short baselines. From the experiment results in the fourth table, we can see ICD achieves over 75% on accuracy and F1 with over 4.3% improvement compared with the best baseline, proving that our mental learning method can succeed to learn a new stress category with only few samples. We do the improvement to the fact that our mental learning framework is well designed with dependent graph convolutional neural network, Twitter attention, and a mixture of experts. Its learning ability can be reinforced through different mental tasks. In addition, the ablation results in the second table also show each part of our frameworks has contribution to the final results. At the same time, we construct a harder situation when k is equal to 1. SCD still outperforms the baseline models over 5.3 percentage in F1 score and the decline is smaller than other models. It verifies that ICD is good at learning the generic part of different categories to identify a new stress categories with quite few samples. What's more, we design an experiment that treat and test the models on frequently appeared stress categories. As shown in this table, our framework achieves over 94% performance with over 1.5% improvement compared with the best baseline. It illustrates that our framework can not only work better on the rarely appeared stress categories, but also be effective on the frequently appeared stress categories. To summary up, there are two main contributions in this paper. Firstly, we propose a non-lexicon-based mental learning stress category detection framework, which is treated on frequently appeared stress categories and can be directly adopted to the rarely appeared stress categories. The framework learns to learn through mental learning and has a strong generalization ability for new categories with little data. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first one to detect stress categories that rarely appeared on social media. Secondly, we build a social media stress category detection data set consisting of 12 stress categories with 1,553 manually labeled stress for microblogs compared with the previous work. The data set is more fine green with both six frequently appeared and six rarely appeared stress categories. For more details, please check the paper. Thank you for your watching.